Hey everybody, it is Quicken, and today I am going to be showing you my technique for how I curl really resistive hair. My hair type is fine, but high density, so I have a lot of hair and it doesn't like to curl. If you ever see me rocking a curly hairstyle look, a lot goes into it because my hair is extremely resistive. But if you don't have resistive hair and your hair does what it what you want it to do, this is also a tutorial for how I do really tight ringlet curls. I have a special look that I need really tight ringlet curls for that you can stay tuned for. So today I thought instead of doing it in front of my mirror, I would do it for you guys and really show you how I curl my resistive hair. So some things you're going to need before we get started are these clips. These came with my cosmetology kit, so I have an abundance of them, but I will leave an Amazon link down below. A comb, I have a comb, a curler of your choice, the smaller barrel the better, and this is a Marcel iron, which means that it kind of spins around, but I like the spinning, but you don't have to have a spin. I'll leave the dimensions of this, I think it's a half inch. And then I have some hairspray, this is a Veda hairspray, I don't particularly like it, but it's the hairspray I have. You have to think about what kind of curl pattern you want. I am going to be curling my hair forward today, but that is because I am trying to get a very youthful look. If you want your curl pattern to have a lot more volume, then you want to curl it backwards. If you were going for something a little more messy, you could alternate. And once I do the front of my face, I will be alternating as well. So I am just combing my hair back. You might want to do this on clean hair, um, just so you can keep the style longer. So I'm grabbing my first section, and you want your sections to obviously be able to fit in your iron. So deciding where you are going to have your hair curled, which direction you're going to, have it going is going to start off this whole look. So this takes me a, little, a second like every time. No matter how many times I do it, this takes me a little while. So I like clip it and kind of see which way I want it to go and then figure it out. Taking it to the end and then I roll it in, holding on to the end here. And then I click it out get it closer to the end, curl in a little more, click it out a little more, you might have to unroll it to do that, click it out, and then let that curl for a second, then you're going to want to drop it into your hand, and I do that by clicking it, so I will grab the ringlet in my finger like that, and then curl it back down to my head there. And I like to stick my finger through both sides to make sure it's completely curled. And the tighter you can like bring it to your head, the better. So once you have that little curly, take your clip and take it from your hairline, like hair that isn't curled, and put it through to the other side, and then let go. If you have really thick hair, take smaller sections, and you can also clip from both sides if you really need to. From this one, we're going to do here and here. Holding on to the little tail there, click, 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 click. At that point, you can kind of like click, 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 keep the tail, bringing all the hair forward. And then dropping it into your thumb there, 
I like to make sure it's like still warm because it's still gonna offer you play when you twist it into position. Ten minutes and we have three done so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and do the rest of my top of the head here Doing the front two sections, I'm going to cut these into like two levels, like one and two. So I want my curls to drop like. So I'm going to curl them instead of this way, I'm going to curl them this way. Right? Hold that little foot, roll up, click it down, roll up, beat it the little tail, go back in. The hairs in front of your face are the most sensitive, so you don't want to burn them. Put your finger here and then roll this daddy up. Now I'm on to the back of my hair. And honestly, I don't really have a true method for the back. In my experience, after you've done your whole head, your hands kind of have a rhythm that they learned. And if this is your first time setting your curls or using a Marcel iron or any of that, I still believe that like that rhythm kind of stays with you. Just grabbing a piece that feels similar to the other sections that we made. Grabbing our iron in the right way. Seeing the tip of the piece, extending to the end, and rolling in just how we know. And then twist it in. The most important thing is letting your hair set for as long as possible because your hair is going to take on these curls. Honestly, I'll film a video, I'll put a scarf around my head so I don't look so crazy. I like honestly like the way it looks too, so I don't really mind. A better person would have a method for this, but I just go at it and take the clips out one by one. 
If they get tangled and give you any trouble, I like to clip them to my finger and that way I can kind of pull them out without ruining the curl. Other than that, I just take them out one by one and then I am ready for my look. If you know who I dressed up as or if you can't guess it at all, stay tuned for the lookbook later this week. I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching and let me know if you recreate this look yourself. I love you guys so much. Bye!